And I'm on the site to both participate in and oversee the archaeological excavation here on the what could be the USS Scorpion. Uh, we don't know for sure if it is. It's based on artifacts that were pulled up over 30 years ago. We believe it is likely a War of 1812 vessel. But is it a barge? Is it the actual flagship? We don't know that yet. So, so you're down there when you, you're at the stern, right? Yeah, okay, I dropped. Say that? Okay. okay. I'm at the stern area and I drop down, there's these large timbers sticking up and you can follow those down to what is part of a hold. And the hold area was where Don Chimet was 30 years ago and you can see where he had dug but then right below that, just perhaps an inch below, there's a, a mud, a real kind of butter consistency mud. And I was feeling around in there and I felt something kind of smooth and I thought, well, you know, is this a shell? What is it? So I felt a little bit more and it felt like a rim of a bottle and then I, I put my fingers in a little bit more into the soil and found that it was indeed a bottle and it looks like it's intact. I don't know if it's a medicine bottle or something that contained an oil of some type for food preparation. And then right next to it, there's a almost like an orangish colored ceramic container that again, it's only, I can't tell if the bottom was kind of broken out of it and it was a, there was a fracture there or if it's a sort of um, a jar of some type. Because I started to put my fingers in there, I'm like, wow, maybe it's a jar, it's intact. And then just to the left, it feels like there's a lot of kind of squares, or at least metal tin-plated um, food containers, perhaps. Maybe, you know, like meats or, or, or that time. But I'm not sure, I don't know if, I don't know. I mean, it's still, I couldn't see what it was. It just felt like very sharp, like some sort of metal in there. But So you're going to bring those up? Well, what I need to first do is I need to map them in so I know exactly where they're being taken from because right now they're in situ or in place of where they were lost 200 years ago. And so it's important for me to go ahead and map out exactly where those are in relationship to the rest of the, um, the ship. And once I map those out, we can go ahead and, and take those out and bring those up. And how do you map it if you can't see it? It's really hard, but... Can you say that because they won't hear my question. Okay. It's really hard to map things down there since the visibility is so low. So it, you have to have good eyes and bring the paper about a foot from your, from your eyes and begin to... Right now what we're doing is we had five weeks to find the, the dimensions of the what could be the USS Scorpion wreck. Uh, we wanted to get the, both where the bow was located, the stern, the width, the length, all that information is important because what we want to do in 2013 is to construct a coffer dam around the entire ship. What's exciting is that we have come up with the dimensions of the wreck. No one else had those before. Uh, some people who were here 30 years ago thought it might be around 45 feet in length. And in fact, what we found was that it is 75 feet in length and about 20 feet in width. And this is great news because it shows that we have a gigantic uh, wreck there. And even when you're diving on it, as I, as I was diving down into it, I went into the hold and these timbers are just, they're massive and you can feel as you put your hand inside where the compartments the compartments used to be there used to be soldiers and sailors rations in there